Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in the Rady's Rides office where all the magic takes place, the editing of the videos, the scheduling, all that good stuff because we have some exciting news. Toyota is unveiling the new Sienna and because of the situation that we're in with auto shows being postponed or canceled, many of the manufacturers like Toyota still want to bring these new vehicles to the forefront and the way that they're doing this is virtually now i was invited by toyota which the good news is means you were also invited by toyota to be able to take part in the new unveil of the sienna now of course we will eventually on radies rides have the new sienna to really get super in depth and i could give you that unbiased viewpoint and, and review as you come to expect, but we're still gonna do this with the footage that Toyota has given us. Now, I'm gonna watch it along with you and really kind of focus on some of those design cues, what's going on technology-wise, what's going on on the interior, because I'm telling you right now, this Sienna is gonna blow your mind. They are bringing a lot of new technology. I think the biggest news right off the bat is that I hope you like hybrids because there's only the Sienna hybrid. There's no non-hybrid version of the Sienna, but the good news is because there is just hybrid technology, they've really been able to maximize it and give you some great MPG return and also bring you all-wheel drive capability, which remember when you're looking at some of those other brands, they may not have that or you have to go a totally different route to get the all-wheel drive technology. Now, if this is something that you enjoy, I'm hoping that we can do more of it on Rady's Rides, but I think it just allows me to have the ability to talk about it now, even though we don't have the car with us where we can go into these details and I could really touch on those points of, hey, what's new about it? What's different? And what are our different options and whatnot? Because at the end of the day, this is the fourth generation of the Sienna, and you actually have a multitude of different trims, including the first time ever, ever on a Sienna, platinum trim, which Toyota is trying to bring some great style. They're also trying to bring some great options, and you'll see that as we dive into this video. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what are the different trims? You got LE, you have XLE, XSE, limited and then platinum so that's going to cover all your bases and really allow you to choose the right sienna perfect for you but without further ado let's go ahead dive into this 2020 sienna and see why it is a major home run for toyota all right guys here we go right off the bat you'll see how toyota does their footage Really like that side view. Great scenery in the background. If you notice, there's a beautiful body line. Starts right behind the front tire and goes into the driver door. Really, really love how that style is brought in there. It allows the minivan to not be just flat-sided. Nobody wants a flat-sided box rolling down the road. Lots of character. Up front, this one being the XSE trim is gonna be that sportier, sportier trim. You have a nice large open grill area. And I think that body line, especially the way that it goes into the rear fender, mimics the Highlander in a very, very good way. And it gives that flared fender look. I mean, look at the front end of the business on that thing. It is aggressive. And we're talking about a minivan here. Also, first time ever, a minivan features 20 inch wheels. So we have 20 inch wheels on the new Sienna, depending on which trim you go with. Um, and this XSE trim is gonna be the sportiest out of the bunch. Now, I know some people aren't the biggest fans about the large mouth opening. I think it works. I think it works, especially with those side air curtains that they have. You have those lower fog lamps and the color combo that they chose, the red with the darker wheels, I think is spot on the money and really fits it perfectly. Notice those flared fenders. The vehicle really stands out. You even have like a lower side sill extension there. And I think this vehicle might be the minivan to say, hey, once again, minivans are cool because looking at the styling, the chrome up front, the way they did the headlight design looks really, really sharp and stands out nicely. Now, 
if you're wondering, well, Joe, is there different ways to um, get more or less? Of course, of course there's ways to get more or less. Now, you can get across the board, it's a nine inch infotainment system screen, but the good news is if you want entertainment, you actually have the ability to get an 11.6 inch entertainment display with two wireless headphones. So that's the perfect opportunity for if you're doing a family trip and you have the kids in the back seat, get that system. Look at the back there. I love the way they have the canards that actually extend off the back of the vehicle. That's full functional. Nothing there is just for show. Even the little bit of gloss black, I'm glad they didn't try to make it look like a grill around the Toyota emblem. Uh, they, they, obviously, they're going for a little bit more aerodynamic efficiency. You have full LED lighting, looks so clean. On the XSE trim, that Sienna badge all blacked out. The way that the taillight housings integrate into that hatch, very, very sharp. Now, the next one we're looking at, this is a limited trim. You could see the difference right off the bat with that lower grill. I like the XSE better. Although the limited trim, it looks a little bit more elegant. Um, and it really, it's crazy that design on the front fascia fits perfectly in alignment. It looks like it's right off the Avalon uh, limited trim. There's that body line again. Starts right behind the front wheel, goes up into the rear fender flare. Super, super clean on the styling. Believe it or not, the designers, and first of all, just so you know, it was the two departments, one over in, in uh, California, one in Michigan, that actually worked on this together to make the design. They wanted to take certain design elements of the Japanese bullet train and bring it into a minivan. And I'm telling you right now, I think they succeeded with the way the front is, is shaped and especially the side. I think that's probably my favorite thing about this when you look at the competitors the Chrysler Pacifica, the uh, Honda Odyssey. Those look really boxy on the side. This, you could really see that extra work they did with the styling in it, and it really, really stands out, and I, and I like that. Now, power. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, how much power does this thing have? First of all, all Siennas are straight up front wheel drive. That's right off the bat. Second of all, you could option in all wheel drive. So they're all hybrid front wheel drive or all wheel drive. It's up to you and what you wanna get out of your Sienna, but you're looking at the two electric motors up front for front wheel drive. Obviously there would be a third electric motor at the back for all wheel drive. So that means there's no drive shaft. It's going to produce combined 243 horsepower and 80% of it can be sent to the rear wheels. So that's really nice. And then on top of it, I know a lot of you like Joe, I'm hauling my family, but I might be also hauling something behind the Sienna. Can I tow with this? You could tow up to 3,500 pounds. They've really tried to check off all the boxes on what people are going to use their Sienna for. Now, there's four different drive modes, normal, eco, sport, and full EV. Plus, you have regenerative braking. And they have a system, it's called the sequential shifting feature, which will allow you to actually intensify the regenerative braking, depending on uh, you know where you're at, how you're driving, that's going to help regenerate those batteries. Now I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, what type of batteries are we working with? We're working with new tech, the new tech design, lithium ion, nice and small. That's going to be uh, in the vehicle and uh, and allow you still maximize room. You could option in, believe it or not, a refrigerator and a vacuum. And if you're going platinum, expect that high high end feel, fit, and finish. With this, you're gonna have on the interior seven USBs, 18 cup holders, so I hope you're very thirsty. Get the super big gulps and everybody else. Everybody else could have you know, two super big gulps a piece because you have so many cup holders. Twinkie storage in this thing does not look like there's any end. It's almost like Twinkie Infinity design that they did on the interior there. Um, what I really, really like about it is having that ability to get the entertainment center. That's going to allow you to have that flexibility for your kids to be distracted when you're going on those um, longer uh, family drives. And then you're looking at, of course, wireless charging, LED headlights, LED taillights, uh, LED fog lamps, um, all that great work that's being brought into the interior space just allows that flexibility. You got the roof rails, 
They have cargo baskets that you could actually get from your Toyota dealership installed, just like you see there, where you could take all that extra cargo, say you, you need the space for people, you got people filling up the interior, get more stuff on the back, you got the bikes out back. This really would be almost like the ultimate in a camping vehicle, if you really think about it, with all the stuff that you could haul compared to an SUV. And then look at the interior. They really did a great work on the design of the seats, the stitch work. This is where you're gonna feel that premium touch to it. Notice on the center console, they're calling that the bridge, that bridge style center console, because it allows stuff up top, stuff underneath. I personally can't wait to get inside one of these. Now my zonk on the interior is the steering wheel. Not really digging the steering wheel. I am digging the wood trim. And then that cream brown, I'm not 100% sold, but if you notice, you got all nice cup holders there. You got your dual climate, which is nice. Would have been nice to have a larger screen size as an option, like a 12 inch. Everybody wants 12 inches. Would have been nice. You can't get it on the Sienna, at least right now. But hopefully this gives you a nice overall feel of what this vehicle is about. If it's these types of reviews where we do these virtual unveils that you want to keep seeing on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Res family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raise Res merch. Got to give it up to my wonderful production manager, my wonderful wife, Lori, doing the business, setting up the camera, setting up the lighting. Hopefully you can see the beautiful blue in my eyes. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. We all love you. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.